Okay, so when it comes to our firearms and accessories, we can spend a little or a lot. Now, those of us that like shooting, our guns are kind of like, for a lot of people, cars. How much can we accessorize? You know, the final answer to that really is how much can you afford to? Now, I'm always looking for the best QPC quality, performance, at cost with my guns and accessories. You know, what I want to find out is does Feichi's LF 58 laser light have the QPC that I'm looking for? Let's find out. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now, one thing that everyone needs to consider for home defense gun is a laser light. Now, I don't consider this an accessory for fun, but a critical component. And I've done several reviews on this because it is so important. If you're using a firearm to defend yourself and your family in your home, you absolutely need to properly identify a potential target. It is a must, guys. It is critical that you correctly identify any target with a firearm, um, but even more so in your home with family members and often in low light to total darkness. You know, this is where I get on my soapbox that you've got to have a laser and a light, a light especially, but the light's going to identify your target. But if I'm looking down iron sights, I can't see anything, even though I can see my target. Now, for some people that shoot a lot, you know, that's going to be enough. For most people, that's not going to be enough. Thus, the laser. And come on, if, if I'm getting a laser or a light, I should say, you just get the laser with it. It's a no-brainer. Okay, so off my soapbox and on with the review. Now, Feichi is a bargain brand at least as far as I can find, only on Amazon. And yes, it's made in China. It is what it is. I'm not looking to get into politics here. I'm simply reviewing a product um, you know, that looked interesting and looked like potentially QPC. Now, for some of you, that right there is a deal breaker and you're done. And I totally understand that, you know, again, but that is not the point of this review. No politics, just product testing you decide for your for yourself now i have tested a few items of of Feichis before you know and they did have some some good qpc so when i was asked to test this i thought eh, you bet let's see what this baby can take and give in return why not take a quick look at the specs and tech The real quick, out of the box in less than 60 seconds. Got our user manual, Allen wrenches, the light and the laser. We'll give this a go. Pretty obvious, uh, self-explanatory, our abilities to adjust and it comes with the batteries and what I'm going to use for this review is my SAR-9. Guys, this... Okay, so I got this mounted on one of my favorite guns, my SAR-9. This, in my opinion, is one of two or three guns that has the most QPC in a 9mm that you can get. So for me, that seemed like the perfect matchup. Let's take a, a potentially high QPC laser light and throw it on, you know, one of the best pistols out there as far as QPC in my opinion. Now just a note that I had to say or share with the SAR-9 is I did a review on this and I absolutely love this gun. I mean you want to talk about torture tests you need to go to their websites uh, Sarsa Mills and look at the SAR. They did a, what a hundred and 
70,000 round test, 90,000. I mean, they did, they did some crazy, stupid torture tests on this gun. Anyway, the crazy thing is, is I just sent out a blast on my crazy, stupid deals. Okay, I'll, it'll show up here. And I sent that out to my 3,400 uh, subs. I found this with the rebate for 219. That's right, 219 for the SAR 9. That is crazy stupid. If you haven't checked out my crazy stupid deals, you really should. Okay, anyway, I'm at about 20 yards here. Um, let's start having some fun. Okay, so I got it on my SAR 9. I want to just fire some off. I bore sighted it with my mid 10 laser bore sighter. We'll see what we can get for groups, see if it starts deviating. What I want to do is just you know, put some rounds through it, um, see that it's grouping, and if it's doing okay, then bang on it. See if we can get it to you know lose zero and just kind of go from there. That's not bad. Uh, 10 shots, just to take a quick look. Okay, so, you know, respectable, especially home defense. That works. Um, we can see here, laser. Let's just, uh, let's bang on it and see if we can get it off. Okay, so what I wanna do now, so I just wanna whack on it, show you that it's empty, okay? Everybody's kinda got their, their thing. Um, when it comes to banging on something, you know, I was thinking about grabbing a water bottle, but it's already been used, 704 Tactical, so I don't want to steal that. You know, we live out here in the country. Uh, we got plenty of sticks around, so now I'm not going to go to town on this and try to break it off, you know, but we'll give it some good wax. Beat on the front here. I would say that that's probably going to be more abuse than this is going to take in anybody's nightstand or in their house. Let's go load up the mag, go back, nail that second target, and go from there. Okay, so I gave it some schwacks. I can tell you looking down the iron sights, it's not looking good. It's not looking like it's on target, but let's find out. I mean, that's not super bad considering um, I have reviewed a lot of laser lights and I will tell you even some of the really expensive ones the brand names you know um, I've got some surefires um, I've tried a lot of them I've had very similar results with banging on them like that so that that's not super surprising um, Let's kind of re-zero that and see if it gets off with just shooting and not per se banging on it. Okay, so we just banged the crap out of it with a stick. You know, it changed, seemed like the zero dropped a little bit. Honestly, um, that's not too concerning for me uh, with all the, the laser lights that I've reviewed. So I made an adjustment here. Let's just, uh, Okay, we can see the green laser here real good. What I want to do is I want to fire a couple of mags and see if it stays consistent with shooting. If it does that, then we're going to come back at dark and bang on some steel using the laser and the light. Seems to be shooting maybe just a little bit to the right. Put in another mag. Okay, I'll show you that group. Let's just do another mag here. Okay. I would say for home defense, that is gonna be just fine. It's actually fairly consistent. 
You know, our original group was just a little bit to the right. I didn't make an adjustment for that. Um, I banged on it with the stick. Uh, yeah, it seemed a little fairly centered there. And then here, you know, we'd moved just a little bit to the right. Let's come back at night and see how we do back in the CQB range, uh, transitioning from steel with laser and the light. See how far we can reach out. There's 25. That's 60. That's 50. Guys, that is really not bad, actually. <laughs> that impressed the hell out of me. Um, I'm impressed. Uh, let's bang on it, maybe a little more in the light. Uh, we'll consider maybe doing some other torture tests. I'm not sure. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head back to bed, and we'll continue this tomorrow. Okay, so it did really well at 5 o'clock this morning. I did go back to bed. I am now back up, and as you can see, I have not had my coffee yet. But I was really, really impressed, actually, with how it did after kind of, you know, what I had done to it. But just because, hey, we want to see what this thing can do, I want to give it a good schwacking and then go back and do it again. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm giving it a good... Oh, even popped the slide back. Um, so if you're wondering, when I wasn't, again, you know, I, I wasn't trying to break the bank here, but that was a good schwacking. Let's go back and see if I can hit the targets just like I did several hours ago. Okay, so we've got it on here, and I just schwacked the crap out of it with the stick let's see uh let's see how it did <laughs> uh, that worked guys you know I got to say, I, I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, it is what it is. You decide what you think. Okay, I want to do one last test, and I need to make note. This does not have an IPX rating. In fact, I believe I was told not to submerge it or that it wouldn't pass um, or suspected it wouldn't pass. But it's done really well. We're at the end of the review. I've done everything that I wanted to do. I just want to test it. Um, you know, we kind of went above and beyond, so let's just. Okay, so we're in for about three minutes. Maybe we'll do this in stages. Let's dry it off and. Okay, the light still works. Laser light. Uh, real quick here, I'm going to open up the back and see if we can find any water inside. I did it. open it up and the batteries are wet. It, it, is, it is wet on the inside here. Um, so it is not submersion proof. Um, Let's see if we can dry it out and see if it still works anyway. Okay, real quick here, got to head to church. I took it off. We tracked it twice. I took it completely off, as you saw. We dropped it in the bucket. I put it right back on, uh, dried out the batteries in the inside. You know, it seems to be, seems to be working here. 
Okay, we still got the green laser. Let's just see how it did. Uh, we'll pop it on here. And this will be the final test. It, it is not IPX rated, guys. I would not say that it is waterproof to any degree. Probably would go with water resistant, but I, I dunked it instead of, you know, just kind of brushing it with water. Anyway, let's see what we got here. And our green laser, it kind of died on us. I think we got some water in there. No, oh, it's back. <laughs> I think we got some water in there. There you go, guys. You decide what you think, okay? It is not IPX rated. Of course, they told me that, and it's advertised as that. So other than dropping it in the water, it definitely withstood the shock. It withstood being completely taken off the gun, put back on, and we still had zero. And I still could hit the target, even with the water <laughs> inside there kind of messing it up. Anyway, it is what it is. You guys decide for yourself. There you have it. It is what it is. You decide for yourself what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support the channel. Make sure and hit that sub button, guys. It really does help the most. Be sure to like, comment. Um, also, if you have not checked out the crazy, stupid deals on my webpage, you are missing out potentially on some crazy, stupid deals. Guys, when I find stuff, you know, 22 ammo for two cents around, and I kid you not, a few years ago, I had nine mil federal, Brass case, Brock Boxer Prime for 12 cents around after a rebate. This is why I have my crazy, stupid deals. Anyway, until next time, happy shooting. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. Remember, every time you're out on the range getting a little trigger time, you are an ambassador for the Second Amendment. So make sure and be a safe and responsible gun owner.